I was just about to again, I'm going to turn into my brother. Good evening, good evening, good evening, and good evening. And how is everybody in chat? I have to do it every time now, I don't know why. It just sort of comes in, so I've got to do it. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Hope we are all fine out there in this wonderful world that we live in. I don't know where that all came from. It's just, uh, how you doing, flat cap? Yeah, I'm all right. I could just say I'm a bit poorly today, so I've got, um, I've been taking my temperature, so we're all good. Sounded like you had a bong. <laughs> bong. 36.5, so you're not going to catch your COVIDs from me. So you're all right. You've been testing yourself. Yeah. Yeah, I'm all good. How are you guys? You all right? Really good. Arlie, you're not going to tell me you've got exactly the same and you're going to do it by rectal. <laughs> <laughs> He's got come on, we're up there right now. Well, we're actually just wondering whether to get it out or not, but I thought best not just as you said it, so we'll leave that. Just I'll leave put... it in, you'll be fine. Anyone that does want to uh, see proof that I haven't got a temperature, the rectal <laughs> exam will be on the Facebook group after the show. <laughs> Please get yourself no, over there. <laughs> and we've got a wonderful guest all the way from the US of A. It's the wonderful Chris F Full Moon. You'll all know him from chat. How are you doing, mate? I'm good. How are you today? Yeah, really, really good. Really good. I asked him what time it was, and I should know that you're five hours actually behind us, aren't you? I should know that. And you went two o'clock. I'm thinking two o'clock in the morning. But no, it's not. It's two o'clock in the afternoon. And welcome to everybody who, the, who joined us this evening. You wonderful set of people who keep supporting the show. Big love to all of you and thank you so much. Again, brilliant week last week. Um, and also the wonderful people who get us on the catch up. So just before we get to that, we've got two birthdays to shout out. One of the ex-casters is Salford's birthday today. Please get over to Salford's group. Give him a happy birthday. Big love, brother. 21 again. Happy birthday, Salford. And also one of the members of the channel, um, which is um, Gary. Happy birthday to you as well, Gary Kenny. Hope you're okay, mate. He said he's going to be watching the show, so big love to you. So talking about the people who will get us on the replay, which we love you too. Over to you, Ollie. Well, I'm not going to read out all the comments this week because it is starting to get lengthier and lengthier, which is a good thing, but it leaves us less time for my 52 deals of a week. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and don't forget my 107 pod kit, so... Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just going to read out the names uh, and do a quick summary of what everyone's had. So we've got Mikko, Lance, Sparks and Fly, Gary Kenny, Full Moon. Full Moon? Full moon? Anyone, <laughs> anyone know what that is? Uh, Melanie Baxendale, Rita, Graham Osborne, and Pam. Pretty much all the comments are great showing everything. Um... Sparks and Fly did ask for an extended, um, extended. For that one on as well, for, if you're getting it. <laughs> for vape mill. Uh, and I've only just seen that, so I'm not going to do one today, but I will think of doing some sort of promo code for you guys on replay next week. It might not be a 25% straight across like that one, but I'll try and think of something for you. Oh, because he Thanks. watches like in the next day, doesn't he? And then he's not, he's missing out on the deal. Yeah, yeah. so I'll try and think of a next day promo I can do. Thanks for your comments, guys. Thanks for watching. Nice to see you, Ryan's braces in there. I haven't seen you for a long time. Alan, I hope you're okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, tonight we've got two giveaways. We have got your normal, wonderful Rochford project. You've got the giveaway. If that focuses in, yeah, it does slightly. I've been messing around with the camera and it's not been doing it right. Focus your damn thing. There we go. Uh, we have got the Rochford project giveaway and we've also got your facebook giveaway which is all closed now you can't enter it because i put all the names in this wheel of death or whatever we're going to call it you're going to get two bottles you're going to get the vladin chopping the free max 100 maximus and you also get a t-shirt so we'll be doing that roughly around about half past and then we'll be doing your rochford project a little bit later on so we have got a guest it is lovely to see he is is actually on the youtubes um, if you do look, I think I have got it. Oh, wait there. There you go. Gaz has got a vape book. I've got the vape book. Very quickly then, Chris. So your channel has actually been around for a short while, 23rd of June last year. Yep. Um, you've done 32 videos. Um, they've been quite spaced out, but I've noticed recently you've been putting a few more out. Yep. What... I was puzzled with was your description of your channel and there was something in there about 70s horror and yeah no? the the plan is to do something a little bit diversified I want to do not only the um, the DIY stuff but I, I really enjoy horror movies and I want to do uh, little reviews kind of things you know uh, ranking videos 
the kind of that kind of stuff along with it. I just I've I've shot a few of those. I just haven't put them up because the rhythm is completely different than doing the stuff that I've done so far. So I got to figure out a way to to do that and make it watchable. There was another reviewer, you were actually on Mark's show, and he used to mix everything. He used to do vaping stuff, he used to do stuff about, um, he used, I was going to say keyboards then, but I meant um, skateboards. He used to do other bits of videos, how do you get a keyboard to a skateboard? And he used to do loads of different other stuff, and he used to just amalgamate it all into his channel. I think he got something like 20,000, 30,000 people following him. It's been like, um, is it Green Winch? Green, he's Green like Winch, that. Green Winch, which we've got on in a couple of weeks' time. He does all sorts of stuff, all Amazon parcels and that. Yeah, yeah, there's nothing wrong with it. You do what you want on your channel. In the yeah, day. Just, just going to put them on different playlists. So if somebody comes through for one thing, they don't have to sort through all the videos. I don't. I think it's very brave to do. It's something I'd love to do. Uh, and obviously, I've got the holidays channel for messing about, but just general other stuff that's not messing about my kids in a playing sense. The I'd love to do that on this channel, be it Amazon parcels and stuff like that. But I just don't. And I constantly put polls out asking people what they think about it. And I always kind of think, and it's not so much losing subscribers, it's losing the focus, if you know what I mean. So well done to you for uh, mixing and matching. That, that, that's, it, it was something that, that, again, same sort of way as I felt why I actually did the Urban LBV, which I, I admit I haven't got very much upon there. Um, mainly because I wanted to do a little bit more like camping and I wanted to go into abandoned places and them sort of videos where with everything with COVID, I just, I just couldn't get it, get it going. It couldn't go anywhere. Yeah. Cause everywhere so, were abandoned. <laughs> yeah. It was kind of boring cause you couldn't go anywhere and do anything. No. Chris, if you had one set up, one e-liquid for the rest of your life, what would it be? Uh, well, you can have two setups because I never, I would always want to. I would sneak one in my back pocket. <laughs> yeah, I would probably survival. do uh, a mech tube and an RDA, um, and then a regulated. And uh, I really like the uh, RDTA ones like this. Now that there's several of them on the market, this is the original Brunhilde. But now that there's several of them, the new profile and they made a bit of a comeback, haven't they? The Tour and Max is another one that's quite good, actually. Yeah. 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 It's kind of creep around again. Because I, I like the airflow that you get off of an RDA, but I like the convenience of having a tank. So two of them together, that's just what I like. I don't give it, I don't care how tall it is or, you know, how big it is. Finally, For me, so... it could be. <laughs> Finally, it's one of my team. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's it's not often face. people come into the RDTA camp. <laughs> I, I I do I like I like RTAs and RDTAs. I, I, I they like the sort of thing that I like. I was always when I first started, I was more of a a, a tank wanker, as they always used to call this. Um, that, that's what I was into. I, I had stock Ooh. coils. I didn't. I couldn't be it, the the dripping side of it. My brother sort of got me into that. Um, back onto seventies. No, that's the wrong one. And so I used <laughs> to get the RDA, and I, it it was not so you know like going out. You know like when if you if you go into work or you go in there. It's not practical all the time because if you're dumping it in your bag or something like that, it's going to leak out. It's yeah. But I think obviously with tanks, you don't get that. I can understand why people choose RTAs over RDAs because of a tank, but I cannot for life of me. I think it just must be the, the variety available. But I can't understand why people would choose an RTA over an RDTA. The the flavor's better. The fact that you can just drip onto it, it's just everything. So, yeah. w welcome into uh, my camp, Full Moon. It's not a very big camp. Well, there's, there's a, <laughs> there's like very a, more of a trust factor. Like you need, to, I found with RDTAs, you need to work a little bit harder when you're wicking to get it right. Otherwise, I struggle to trust them. Yeah. You know, your wicking needs to be. It's like uh, Ben Ben Brink is exactly the same. I stick to RDAs. I can't seem to wick RTAs to save my life. End up drowning on juice. I think a lot of well, RTAs, RDTAs, you, a lot of them, some of them are quite forgiving. You can get away with it one moment, but others, you just got to spend some time with them. You can't get away with it first try. You've got to, you've got to play around with your cotton and all that kind of stuff. Happy birthday, Gary Kenny is in now. Yeah, you're right, mate. Yeah, as long as you're not smoking. I, I couldn't get monkeys if you're on a pod system. As long as you're not on them stinkies, that's that's the main thing. Now, what about your juice? Because we're going to get on to about your juice. What juice would you take? <sighs> That's that's the really bad thing about the DIY 
part of it is the fact that I'll vape one juice for three days and set it off to the side and vape a completely different flavor profile just because I want to play with the flavors. It's because I want to mix something different. So uh, I guess I would take like one dessert flavor and one fruit flavor because that tends to be my main ones. So have you got but, a couple of have you got like a couple of like go-to concentrates that like you are like trusty? Yeah. Um, I was watching the, one of his videos the other day and if it, it just behind him, there's like absolutely millions of concentrates. Yeah. I was watching the other day. That, that, yeah. That's what you call a concentrate. Look at that. <laughs> that's, that's actually not that much. That's uh, maybe 250, 300 bottles. There are people out there that have thousands. Uh, if you ever watch one of Tam Vape's videos, her she's got an entire wall of concentrates. She was on with Benny Vapes last week, wasn't she? And she knows where everyone is. Yeah. Like, I don't know if it's alphabetically listed, but she, yeah. Yeah. Man, she has them um, alphabetical. She has them by manufacturer first and then alphabetical under that. So, <laughs> so again, uh, Gaz did put his channel in there. Um, it should be coming up on Nightbot as well. Gaz so Bob. please just go and give that a little click. Um, and, he, and the way he does it, which I quite like, especially somebody like me who's like just really getting into it, mixing his own stuff, um, he leaves the recipe up. He talks about it at the beginning, tells you about it, and then he leaves the recipe up at the side of him while he's actually weighing it up, which I really do like. So you can actually stop and, and, and go back to what you're actually doing. It's a little bit like cooking with Delia. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and all the recipes Craddock. that I do in the videos, the link to them on ELR is the very first thing in the description underneath. So if, if you miss it on the video or can't read the the little Kindle that I use for a flavor book or recipe book, um, you can the links are always going to be on there. Las Vegas, I see you, brother. Gary, Gary. can you ask? Oh, sorry, Harley. I, I was going to say that you got me first. Great minds think alike. What are the USA are you from, Full Moon, says Gary Kelly. Uh, I'm from Alabama, which is the southeast. Alabama. Alabama. You've got a lot of turtles there. <laughs> what yep. ninja turtles? Yeah, not ninja turtles. You've got turtles. They're in New York, aren't they? Like um, painted, painted turning yellow belly sliders, red yeah. sliders. Yeah, all of those, especially down the south part, um, down around the Gulf, Mobile area. They have a lot of the tropical stuff like that. I know it's going completely off of vaping, but I did have a pet shop, and that's what I specialised in. It was in turtles, so I absolutely loved them. And it was the fact of the reason why I got into it because when I was younger, obviously the teenage ninja mutant turtles sort of came out, and everybody was sort of like buying these turtles, but they were leaving them in you know all these little tanks with about yeah. this much water, yeah. and then no basking light, no UV or anything, and then wondering why they were dying. And then if they didn't die. They grow to the size of a dinner plate. So then what do they do with them? Because they're not going to stay <laughs> in this little tiny tank. People didn't know. And they were like, whoa, why is this getting so big? Yep. I found a turtle that's on my shop of a week. <laughs> I just opened and this woman that I know came in and went, ear. And I went, oh, yeah, there's a turtle cracking. She went, no, ear. I'm like, what do you mean, ear? I'm I'm all right. And she's not here. I've, I've got to go to work. I'm like, I'm not looking, I'm not looking after I'm your turtle. Work. She's no, no, I just found it on, and there's, there's a, a lorry company across the road, and it was crossing there. So quite luckily, a lorry didn't come out and, uh, and have it. So I chucked it, luckily, because I've got all the clothes and stuff, I emptied one of the buckets for the printing company, put it in that with some water and stuff, and, uh, and let him get on with it. But then, there's, there's a com anyway, I, I found out who it was, but yeah, I randomly... I had a turtle in my shop for a day. Which is very... <laughs> the amount of stuff that's in chat now about turtle heads is just stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the one who only brings the show down. Um, so how did you actually start vaping? Uh, my fiance, uh, she had she had stopped for a while, a few years back, but had gone back to smoking um, with just things in her life at the time. Um, and she's got COPD and she's got asthma. And she just decided that she'd had enough of it and enough breathing trouble that she was going to, she broke out her old uh, Kanger Tech tank. And um, she used it for a while and convinced me to try it. So I gave it a try and 
Uh, two weeks later, we bought the little one of the little pin kits for each of us. Um, we used those, and that's actually what I ended up actually quitting on. Took me about probably about a month to completely quit, but it took me a week to get down to like one a day. So, but so you gave it a good try then. You you you, you must have said to yourself, "Well, I'm doing this," and you you, you know. You yeah. Said- I, I was working. 10 hours a day at the time and I was doing the roll your owns. I was using the machine and she has uh, other health issues. So I end up doing most of the work around the house, cooking dinner and all that stuff. So I'm getting up, going to work at night cause I was on third shift, you know, rolling two packs of cigarettes for me and a pack for her, you know, and cooking dinner, washing up, then getting ready and going to work. It, it was so much more hassle than than what it was worth when it just became just for me when she quit. So when when that happened, it just I just put them down and, and you know. Well, you them. know, my dad, my dad used to say it's one of the bits that he misses that rolling his cigarettes because what he used to do is obviously get 50 grams of gold in Virginia or whatever he would, he would smoke it on and then he'd put it out on the paper let it dry for a bit and then he used to just sit there for ages and, and roll, he had a rolling machine and roll them and he says yeah. it's one of the bits he actually misses the actual rolling bit of it I can see that something you know it, it's probably kind of what I do with mixing yeah it, it's just one of those things that's like I'm nowhere near low on juice but Hey, I have an idea, or you just go over there and just look at them. I think that's why I like the the cotton bags. They come in like the foil pouches, and then you get your cotton and you kind of roll it up, and that's all part of it, isn't it? It's all part of the process. Yeah. I watched what uh, Dean the Double Vapor. He was doing either a bit of a tour around his his actual room before he moved out, and he had loads in like a I think it was like a, a makeup vanity thing that he'd got his his all his RDAs and stuff in. Um, I think I'm right. And then he, he had load that he'd actually gone through and, and rolled into it, just ready to go. Perfect as well, you know, like all proper... <laughs> yeah. No wispy bits. <laughs> so yeah, what part... me... Sorry. Yeah, it amazes me that they haven't made a machine for... Do you know the laces that you've been on about? It amazes me that you haven't made a machine where you can... Because we do it with bread, don't we? The bread machines where you just stamp yeah. them. It amazes me that they haven't made them because... They'd be so convenient, but there's not that many. I was looking on also the other day, and they didn't sell any laces, so I had to go to a different one. But it, it'd be quite handy to have a little cheap machine that you just there you go, wrapped, push it in, cut it off. Well, like That'd a shoelace be. machine. Yeah. Yeah. It's a great idea. So, you, so you, you, it could be sort of like something you do, do with your cigarette and like sort of roll it so it was actually like a, a 2.5 mil or something like that, and then you rolled it and then you clunked it and that was your shoelace done. Hmm. That, I think we should be getting older, Mr. Coyley. I'm sure he'd be able to get older. That something like that. <laughs> you'll see it next week on his website. Yeah, <laughs> I was talking about you about your spray tan booth as well. I thought that was brilliant. But Pam says it's already done. Pam said it's already gone. Yeah, it's a shame. I think that was you see, she's in. Pam's already in. see if we say her name. She's in. <laughs> Pam's saying that she loves the firebolt cotton as well. Love to see you, Pam. Yeah, I'm a big fan. So which part then did you, obviously you'd gone to that pen style and then you've obviously moved a little bit further on. When did you actually start getting into thinking, I'll tell you what, it's going to be a lot cheaper for me to uh, mix my own juice? Um, when I moved from that from that little Vivo pen to um, one of the, I got one of the, uh, the smart, the mag grips and the, the first, the first generation of them, um, I don't remember which TF number it was, but whatever the, the print <laughs> tech that was on it. Who knows? <laughs> no one knows. Right? From 50 million. But we were going through a lot of juice. And because, again, she's, you know, health issues. She doesn't work. So she was sitting at home all day. And then we, we were rolling through $100 in juice every two weeks. And it's like, that's, that's expensive. You know, we, it'd be cheaper not healthier, but cheaper to go back to smoking at that point. And uh, a couple of friends of mine do really simple mixes. Um, it's like three flavors and done. And that they only mix just that one thing. But they were telling me about how easy it was to do it. So I just, I went on Facebook and found a group. Um, 
started asking questions and they said that there was stuff online. So I got on, on YouTube and looked up, um, well, new Amsterdam vape. That was the, they had a really good beginner video back then that YouTube has since decided is against policy, but, and took down. <laughs> Didn't somebody else um, mention them last week or week before? Yeah. Th they've got a couple of videos still up, but this one they did a few years ago and it was really good. So I, I watched it, figured out how to do it. and started getting the stuff to do it and just kind of jumped in. And you if don't you, look um, back. You, you never said. look back. If you had any tips for people that were in chat that are just thinking, you know what, I'm going to start doing concentrates, what would your top one or two tips be? Um, start with the scale. Make sure that it goes down to two places, uh, point zero zero, um, on the gram side. Um, there's a whole lot less cleanup with the scale than there is with syringes. Syringes and things like that are okay. They measure it. They're actually more accurate measuring it, but the scale is just quicker. Um, you're less likely to lose interest because of doing an hour's worth of cleanup after 15 minutes of mixing. Uh, and then my second one on it would be um, eliquidrecipes.com. It's a recipe site where everybody puts up all their recipes. Uh, Vic's got his on there. Several, Benny and um, Graham have tons of recipes on there. Um, go on there and find you, depending on your budget, find you two or three highly rated recipes and get the concentrates to make those. Uh, if you have the budget for it, grab one random recipe off of there and one high rated recipe off of there, you know, and, and make those up because not, not everything is going to be in everybody's wheelhouse. It, you know, taste is subjective. So pick you out one thing that you, that sounds like something that you would like and pick you out something that sounds like you would like in a different profile you know, one highly rated, one not rated. I'm going to nick that. It's not not everybody's swill house. <laughs> I'm nicking <laughs> that one, buddy. I'm nicking that one. Yeah. But yeah, you're right. It, it, do, do you actually, you do more like the one shots, don't you, Flat Cap? I do quite a bit. I did try the DIY route, but I just, I mean, I the syringes made me laugh when you said about that, because that's exactly what I did. And I had 10 syringes and I didn't want to contaminate one with the other and I was cleaning them and I just thought, this is just painful. And then I messed up. Then I spilled up. I had a hundred mil bottle of um, watermelon concentrate, and I spilled that on the carpet, and it stunk. And I was just, <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> so I'm always really, I'm always like, when people do their own deal, I'm like, well, fair play. And actually, Chris, you won the Watcher Project last week, and I'm really can't wait for you to get them, and I'd love to hear what you think about them because being in the mixing game, you you'll pick out stuff that people like me just don't probably. Just so a big I'm shout out as well to Jay from the Rochford Project um, when he found out that he won. He messaged me straight away and said, look, don't worry about it. I'll send it out to the US. I'm, I'm happy that somebody over there or, or, you know what I mean, on different continents are going to be trying it. So, again, big shout out to the Rochford Project. Please make sure you get over there and support him. The email address yeah. is all over the place. Yeah, I really, want to, um, I really wanted to say thank you to Jay for that. That's, that means a lot because I, I – I, uh, you can see I have the TV behind me. So your show last week, I was watching it. I had it on that. I'm on my phone in chat, and I'm over here on the computer because I was doing the recipe that went up in my last video. So I'm over here looking up concentrates on it, and all of a sudden everybody's typing bacon in the comments, and it's like, oh, I like bacon. So I typed it in, and not even thinking about, you know, that y'all had you had said before that he didn't want to ship outside of of Europe right now because of the cost. So it's like crap. No, he, he, well, I was going to do it anyway. I was going to send it to you anyway, but he, he was so nice and he got in touch and said, yeah, he's going to send it out, which was uh, was absolutely brilliant. He, he's, yeah. he's such a lovely bloke as well. We, I've met him personally, me and Mark, a number of times. We actually, me and Mark uh, got an award for him um, at the Telford Vape Show quite a number of years back. But yeah, he's such a nice bloke. And also his mate as well called Dal. I don't know if anybody's ever met Dal. A lot of the, the old people who used to go to the expos will know Dal. He's he's an absolute fantastic bloke. I think the world of him. 
Yeah, I really do appreciate that from both him and from you for going to take care of it. So. Yeah, that's really no, mate. That's that's what it is. And and another thing I'd like to say to you, I don't know if Flat Cap would be saying, thank you very much for all the support that you give to the UK shows because you're in majority of all the shows and you're always yeah. commenting. It's a big shout out for for all your support on that as well. Well, like I said, when I was working, I was on third shift, so I was, you know, up and down in the afternoons a lot. And it's you guys' shows I could catch live most of the time, you know, and then our shows. Over here, if it was at 7 or 8, I was okay, but I would have to start getting ready for work at 9. So anything after that, I would miss. But I could catch, you know, most of the UK shows. I have trouble making Dean's, but, you know, from 2 o'clock on, I'm, I was usually up Great. and moving again by that time. Um, flashy 1221, he's still gutted about last week. Right, lads, I think it's time we got on with this uh, Facebook giveaway. Um, a big shout out to Matty Hardy, who is, is in the chat. He has been pushing the um, the actual Facebook group loads, um, doing his videos, has been funny as anything. Thank you so much, buddy. So the giveaway is for two of the Rochford Project. You get the Vladin Chopping, the 100 Watt Maximus, and you also get um, the... Um, Three, I was just say UK vape show. Three men and a vape sat there in front of me. Three men and a vape show T-shirt. You're going to be able to tell me size. So the way it's going to work, people. I need to put up the. Um, I'll just tell you. It's down to us what happens, people, on the, on the giveaway. Our thing is final. It's only for the stuff that we're saying, and this one is for the Facebook giveaway. So right, I need to get the giveaway wheel. So oh wait, though, we don't want that one. We want that one. So what I did was, I went all the way through. Uh, Kevin Davis was the last person when I was there. If you've done it before that or after that, that's your own fault. I'll just, I keep doing that as well. I keep trying to move it in OBS. So that's no problem. So Sorry. all your names are there. I have gone through it all and made sure that there isn't any double ones. And if I have missed one, it's not my fault. I have tried my best. There is quite a lot of you. So you will see your names. Right then, guys, let's press it. I'm going to check on Pud's temperature. Slow, <laughs> Pud. Carry and on. we're pressing it. And the winner is... Kev Davis. Kev Davis. Kev Davis, you are the winner, my friend. You are the winner. I think he was the last one to go on there, I know you know. I think he's in chat as well. So, Kim Davis, you have won the um, the Facebook giveaway. So, you need to get in touch. Um, you can actually message us through the um, the Facebook group, and we'll be able to sort it out from there. Fix, yeah, pod fix. It is, brother. It is. <laughs> so, that was the, uh, the Facebook giveaway. Again, big shout out to the wonderful... Um... Oh... Gary Kenny's got his uh, Three Men in a Vape Show t-shirt today. Uh, we want a pick of that so we can get it on the Facebook group. Right then, I think it is now time for a bit of tech. Let me play the Flat Cap Tech thing because I, I didn't do it the last three weeks. Flat Cap's Tech Report. There we go, bro. Okay, Smokey, welcome to Pod Reviews. Now, it's been really tough this week, folks. It's been really, really tough to try and find some decent stuff. But I have got there in the end, thanks to a couple of people as well who helped me out. Starting with Asmodus. Asmodus Dachi? Asmodus. Asmodus. This is the Asmodus Dachi 2-in-1 pod system. I'm not sure why it's 2-in-1. Whether they're saying it's mouth to lung, direct to lung, I don't know yet. It's an 80-watt, single 18650 device, 4 mil capacity. Nice and curvy. And a nice color screen. But the screen, to me, looks a bit smoky. Yeah, it does, yeah. But, yeah, I, I, I'm going to breeze through all the pod mods because there's a few of them. <laughs> you, know, it's, you know when I'm desperate, when it's all pod mods. Anyway, let's crack on. Next up is the... <clears throat> <clears throat> the <laughs> uh... <laughs> the Freemax Circle pod system. Um, I, don't, I don't know for sure, <laughs> but I think this takes the... NS mesh coils. Now, I will say the one ohm mesh coil, the NS, NS mesh coil is absolutely banging. Um, but this interesting thing comes with a little bondage chain as well. Um, don't that know looks about exactly battery. like the UFO. Who did the UFO? Was it um, 
He wants Sorin, more. No, he wants Sorin. Company did the UFO, and then they did the UFO 2. Now, the, it was exactly the same design. They had the pod, but then the UFO 2 had two pods either side. Oh, yeah, I remember something like that. And then you had things like the Voopoo did that spinner thing, didn't they? There's the, yeah. Yeah, monstrosity crap. Tee back. Yeah, a lot of people were hating on that one, so I'm going to get on with that one. Um, next up is the H-Cigar E-Pod, coming soon. No information on that. Moving on. <laughs> the, if you want to jump in and say any nice comments about these folks, then please feel free. The, <laughs> this is the Vupu V through. Now we had the V suit last week. This one reminds me a bit of the Vapresso O small, just looking at it, but it's a bit more advanced than that. It's a 900 milliamp hour USB Type C. Obviously, has this nice kind of uh, OLED screen on it. Three mil pod capacity. I think it will come with a point. Now they say it's a 0.7 and a 1.2 dual mesh pod. Now, I couldn't work out from the website what they mean by dual pod. Um, so, do you think I'll get back to that one. Dual pod? Dual pod. I don't know if it's a dual coil pod or whether... I, don't, I really don't know. I, it doesn't make sense. And I don't really like spending too much time on pods because you can see the abuse in chat. So I'll carry <laughs> <laughs> with another pod. The love I have really, some, bro. I have got a few good bits, so we'll get on with that. Um Another pod mod. I'm getting them out there. The Smock Nord X kit. So the Nord's obviously been around quite a bit. Uh, the Nord X is a 1500 milliamp hour battery. It's got this lovely screen on it. It's up to 60 watts and it takes the RPM2 coils, which I think uh, come with it will be a 0.16 and a 0.4. And it has a 6 mil capacity. Non Mick Tavish would just say another one. Do you think it's a dual chamber? The last one? It might, it might well be. Yeah, I'm, it was a bit odd on their website um skip the whole section thanks can, can you can you tell me um flat cap uh, what's an ip67 butt plug <laughs> the image is a bit funny so obviously that's meant to be <laughs> dustproof shockproof waterproof and all that kind of stuff submersible up to about one meter for 30 minutes i think in the water but um yeah right who's <laughs> gonna make on the water I'm nearly done with the pod mods. Let me get this last one done. I'm getting caned in chat. Thanks for the love, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> this is the, a terrible photo of the... What? I don't understand this, but this is the OBS Cube S, which looks a bit like the whole Vupu Drag X and those with this kind of leather back. It comes with a cube tank. Apparently, it's an, the whole thing's an upgraded model from the OBS Cubes. A single 18650 color screen. USB Type-C as well. Um, a, a, a regulated device, folks. We're getting think, bored about design. It, 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 so you're even getting stick off of Lee Armitage, and he's really, really lovely. He is. <laughs> <laughs> it's not much of a cube, though, is it? It's curved. But, it is, yeah. that, my problem is that design has now been used by Vupu, Smock, and I'm pretty sure there's three or four other companies that have currently started using that design. And he's thinking, well, you just think of some fucking original, please. Not you, yep. that cap. I meant the actual manufacturers. <laughs> I know. I'm even getting text messages now. <laughs> <laughs> right. What do I do next? That is all the pods out of the way. Yay! You did well there, bro. Oh, no, there is one more. I'm leaving it to the end. Um, <laughs> this, this was, this was um, sent over to me from Wonderful Full Moon. Thanks so much for putting us in the Flat Cave group. Um, not a great deal of information on the ORIS. Now, from what I've read, it, I think, I think Chris, it might be like a, a Filipino uh, brand called the, Ju the Jual, Jual Oris. Yeah. Jual Oris RDA, um, 25 millimeter. It's a collaboration between Very Katika, Abby G, and Vape AM. I've never heard of any three of them. I don't know who they are. I've got Ali G's doing a dripper. Ali G. <laughs> Chris. Um, yeah, Full Moon sent me these images, so I appreciate you sending them. I quite like the look of the deck. Looks like direct yeah. airflow from underneath. Looks pretty smart. Um, but yeah, it was hard to find information on this one. It, but we talked about about an airflow like that, like that ourselves, didn't we? Where it, where it slides on top, doesn't it? So that's going to be adjustable by the top. Is, is it a top airflow? You can just see it on the sides there, can't you? Yeah, it's top airflow, so it's going to sl slide onto it. And then it's going to go underneath Down that coil. Channel, you're going to get yeah. so it could be a little noisy, but it, you're going to get some good airflow on that. Yeah. 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 Vape AM has a, a Fat Fish RDA. Um, 
that I really like. So I'm, I was, I'm on there. Um, I follow them on Instagram and that just popped up. I, and I couldn't find anything on it. You found a lot more than I did. I had Absolutely. a little, I, I like the look of it. I, I've got a secret um, link to the dark, dark vape web. You got it from Benny Vapes. <laughs> yeah, and his magic circles. Yeah. Make sure you go and check him after this show straight away after us on Benny Babes' channel. Please go and check him. And that is the end of the podcast. No, not really. I've got a couple more. Um, I can never pronounce this name. The Chitulu. Ch 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 We've gone again, but don't worry about it. We've gone again. We gone. Are we back? Yeah, we'll come back. <laughs> Thanks for unsubscribing. What is it that bad? These pods. Next week, we're going to have three items. And it's going to be... Yeah. Anyway, the Cthulhu Artemis or Cthulhu? How do you pronounce it? Anyone know? Cthulhu. Cthulhu. That's it. Artemis. It's a twenty-two. Cheers, Chris. It's a twenty-two millimeter <laughs> mouth to lung RTA. Two point two and a half mil capacity. Stainless steel. It's got a dome chimney. It's. I've got a picture of the deck as well. It's got little different airflow inserts. Nice little mouth to lung RTA. Very long drip tip as well. See that right? Yeah, it looks good. Sorry, I'm just looking at, at um, this thing it's saying. It's a video to maintain this. Just keep going. We were fine last week. It seems to do it at like at half past. It's done it exactly the same time as it did last week. My tech. It's my pods. It's the do you pods. know what happened then? I started swearing. Did you? I did, yeah. And then, it, you know, like the extra bit, I went off. It's oh, gone. yeah. And, and then, then I, I watched it back and it was, uh, it was on there. Yeah. Thank you, everyone, for pronouncing it for me, Cthulhu. I like the look of it. I like the drip tip. Yeah, it's a nice kind of smart looking uh, RTA, isn't it? A little nice mouth to lunger. I quite like these kind of style. The the the, mouth, the drip tip is huge though. The vaping head yeah. said, "Is that an anal probe?" Yeah, it looks like it does. <laughs> um, but yeah, another another nice mouth to lunger. Um, right, I haven't got a lot of info on this, but I briefly caught a glimpse of Jay Hayes. Oh, we don't want that picture first. We want this picture first, and the new. Uh, Rebel J Hayes Squonk 20 mod. It's a single. Now, I'm not sure on the battery, but from what I saw in the bit of the video I saw, it's a single 2650 and it's got a DNA DNA 75C chip. Um, but it's it's 3D printed. Don't have much more information yet. I just haven't had time to kind of research it. But he had a little video up on this earlier, um, which is that's, hilarious. That's cool screen, that, isn't it? He, was, he made me laugh because he was saying about how he's just slapped his name on it and he's had nothing to do with it. It was quite funny. So go and check that out. But... The thing about yeah. it is, at least he's actually um, he's he's honest. <laughs> yeah, I mean, to be honest, I reckon he probably has had something to do with it more than he says. I don't think Jay's the type of guy. I think he's just being a bit of a joker with saying, "Oh, I've slapped my name all over it," you know. Um, but Matt doesn't like three D printed stuff. There you go. Right. Last but not least, now this has caused a bit of stir online. I saw this uh, at the weekend. And then also Gay, the wonderful Gailey Bops put a post up on it as well on the Bitches group. Um, and I've shown it to you guys. The Bugatti Royale starter kit. Now, from my research, this has actually been kind of dealt with by Aspire. And Aspire have gone to Bugatti for the rights for their logo and that kind of stuff. What so the hell is that? I've got more pictures. This <laughs> is... This is this. So from what I've heard, this is official Bugatti made product with with Aspire. I think Aspire made it and they've used the Bugatti logo. Um, thousand milliamp hour starter kit, twenty five watts. It's got a half inch screen, which I'll show you where that is. Looks quite cool, but is very weird. I can't wait to see reactions to this in chat. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like oh. a motorbike engine. I don't know what it is. It's, it's brilliant. And yes, people are saying, well, it's 500 quid. Yeah, it is about 500 pounds, apparently. 500 quid? Yeah. I think Vic's got four in already. <laughs> <laughs> For anything with a Bugatti name on it, that's pretty cheap. Yeah. You see that, that $20,000 watch they had? Yeah, that's, that's true, yeah. And the best thing is, I, I haven't got it in front of me, but if you happen to Google the... Bugatti Royale. Check out some of the descriptions, especially on some of the Chinese websites. They mention onions and all sorts of stuff. It's hilarious. <laughs> Big um, love, Gailey Bops. So is that drawer activated then, I take it? It's a bit like a pipe. I believe so, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't have all the info because, like I say, most of the information I've got is from China. So, yeah, it's a bit tricky. But it just, it just looks so weird. I can't see any of us really getting it for review, can you? <laughs> no. Not a oh, one arrived just uh, yesterday. 
thought you were going to buy three, Marley. Ah, well, my uh, financial advisor of uh, me <laughs> said no. <laughs> Computer said no. <laughs> so yeah, um, next week I'll I'll be showing you the Lamborghini Mech. Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, and the Harley Pod. <laughs> Whoa, whoa. If anything, it's a flat cap pod. Don't be putting the Harley Davidson or the Harley brand on it. Yeah, oh, I do apologize. <laughs> it's all been positive. There really hasn't been a lot. There's been nothing this week from Hellvabe, Aspire, Dovpo, Geekvabe. Not, none of them. They've all been dead quiet. Even Vape Press have been quiet. Buddy, we've got what we've got. I'm, I'm way happy with it. Yeah. You, the, the thing is, you can, only, you can only say what's coming out, can't you? Yeah. Yeah. And, th and that, that one, what you've saved to the last, is just like amazing, isn't it? Great. <laughs> Crazy, and the five hundred pound mark as well. It's bonkers. I was going to pay that. Even You're just paying for the, the name, brand, aren't you? Yeah. It was something that I, I, I said years ago about waiting for the people like um, Samsung and Apple to start getting into this sort of market. And a lot of people, ah, oh, they'll never do that. But I, you never know down the line. Yeah, it's possible. Other sort of uh, companies with, with like sort of tech tech ways will uh, will jump on it. There was actually a mobile phone vape one day at one point. Is there? Oh, yeah, I think they should. I think they should because they might kind of push it a bit and we'll get a bit of innovation then. I mean, it's it, the Bugatti thing's innovative. It's very unusual. That's one thing it's got going for it. So it's it's I'll tell you what, Cheech, Cheech is back. Hi, Cheech. <laughs> Do you know what he's been doing all day apart from wanking over his mum? He's been actually sitting down here put, making new pissing names up. What a dick. <laughs> what an absolute dick <laughs> what, do you think he's ever kissed a girl I don't think he has you um, don't realise it's me right <laughs> I, I yeah. let me see those fingers <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm sorry I didn't mean wanking over his mummy it's not very good I'm sorry I didn't mean that um, <laughs> anyway it is time for the deals people don't forget um, after the deals we will be doing your Rochford giveaway I I'm on myself on a little bit of jam tart I've been loving this jam tart it's getting better and better as it's steeping and also Sorry. a little bit of lemon. I need to sort out my focus because it was fine before you great big... I've been messing around with the camera. Oh, there we go. That's it. There we are. We're in. I thought you might have helped me out there, Flat. Right then, let's play the deals. Cash D, it's the deals in a week. <laughs> you got three minutes, Harley. <laughs> <laughs> ah, here we go. Well, this one is. <laughs> oh, I'm not a pod kit. No, don't like pod kits. <laughs> We've just got loads. That's pretty much all there is this week, guys. I'm right. Sorry. Um, oh, I'm going on every screen, aren't I? No, that's uh, the wrong one. That were us. Yeah, that's. Yeah, sorry. <clears throat> Wasting precious time, guys. Focus. <laughs> he said focus, by... not focus. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I've got five minutes. Come on. <laughs> right, deep breath, guys. Come on, we can do this. Adamant's pod kit by Rise and Take. 950 milliamp hour battery. It does 15 watts, 10 watts. There you go. Here's a pod kit. Down from 20 quid to 10 quid. If you want it for whatever reason, if there's only the orange one left, it's down from 20 quid to 10 it, quid. It looks, like so it, it looks like something that you'd have, you know, if you fell off a ship and you had to blow your whistle. I tell you what, though, great, <laughs> great flavour of that pod kit, but it is a uh, non-removable coils and it gets some separate pods, I think. But great, banging flavour, really good flavour. It was one of the it's things orange. I really liked about Mark with Nature Vapes as well, because he used to try and find the hack of how to get in there and actually do it. He did it on quite a number of pod systems. Yeah, it's orange. What more could you want? <laughs> well, you want a pink one. We got a mech, and I don't know. I don't have any 20, 2700 batteries, and it's 50 quid, which is quite expensive, but I think 50 quid's decent for a 100 quid mech mod. Does like it look like it's a 2700. Sex toy. Also, a pink shotgun shell. Yeah. El, El Thunder. There's one in brass. <laughs> Lou, I bought you a new present. They are quite fem feminine <laughs> colours, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Yeah. The, is that just the stack section, though? <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> so if there's a stack section here for 50 quid. That's the only device on this. Well, I can't call it a device, can I? That's the only part of this deals review that I haven't actually looked at properly. <laughs> Get. Moving on. <sighs> You're just jealous because you've got pods. <laughs> We've got spas. 
I don't know. I don't even know how you're supposed to pronounce that. But Spaz Twelve Pod Kit by Five Ten Vape. It's another nine fifty milliamp hour battery. Uh, it doesn't actually tell you the wattage, so I imagine it is pretty much bypass. 0.8 ohm and 1.2 ohm coils. Onward. Looks, what looks a bit funky. Oh, you keep making me go back. It does. I, I, I don't like it. I think it's ugly. In fact, I showed our last earlier and she went, eh, it's horrible. And what about the pod? <laughs> it doesn't show you it, does it? <laughs> <laughs> Onward. <laughs> you shit. <laughs> so it, it didn't click. It really, really didn't click that. There was just time there that I just sat there wagging. I'm thinking, I want that bad a joke. Does, does, <laughs> does this class as a harassment in workplace? Come on. Uh, uh, right. Harley, keep you cool. That's about our loud shit. Cool. Half a squonk. Cool oh vapor. Buy cool vapor. Down from 27 quid to 15 quid. There's only one available. It's silver. This is what the deck looks like. There you go. Ooh. Yeah, that's it. I'm not leaving you any space to talk in this. It's like 20... that armadillo. <laughs> right? we, we, got, we got time. It's like yeah. that armadillo thingy that came out uh, last year. The deck. I don't know. Sorry. It's like a pyramid, um, isn't it? Armadillo. Well, I'm actually looking at that thinking, how would I use that? Because I think I'd only use two holes at a time. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to use any more than two holes at a time, I imagine. But <laughs> you sh- I quit. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> we can't carry on like this, gents. You can only use two holes at a time, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you, no, you can, you can use four if you want. But... <laughs> Cross <laughs> more, though. Look, I'm not an expert at anything. Right? <laughs> I'm just there. That's... Oh, I'm not even married. <laughs> <laughs> Right, come on. That's the that, that's picture. I think it's a bit strange. I think the vanity ring's strange. I, I'm really trying my best not to leave any space in between words to let you guys interject anymore. What, 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 do, you, what, what do you think, Chris? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. I actually kind of like the curve of it. Sorry. Uh, yeah. When the cap's on, it's kind of like the uh, kind of like the recurve was. As far as the cap, but I don't like that kind of deck. And Gailey Box will definitely not like the drip tip. Right. <laughs> it's pretty classy, but the gold plated, it's just a bit much in it. Everything's gold plated. Next yeah. time we've got the Noble. And we are, we use the two holes. <laughs> the Noble's got four holes as well. <laughs> the Noble's actually pretty good. We've mm. had no blonde deals before, I'm sure we have. But it's down from 35 quid to 9 quid. Eat your art out. And there's more than one in stock. It's black and stainless steel. There's the black, there's the stainless steel. It's a 25 mil deck. Move on before anyone else can speak. No, 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 no. go back. Bishop. Come on, look at that. That's <laughs> a bargain as well. Go back, go back. Let's have a look at the deck on that again. It's postless. Yeah. It's a bargain, that. 8 quid. Simple building Ooh. on that. I've reviewed it. I can't remember it from the last minute, but I've reviewed yeah. it. And I'm pretty I sure I reviewed it, good. but I think I had one. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was good. But down for the price, eight ninety nine. That's not that's that's nothing, is it? Hey, it's got a spit bag diffuser. Right. Is that like a muzzle? Yeah, it's like a Kennedy. It's like a grill at the top. Yeah. It's I don't got think, a spit back. I don't think. Yeah. Oh, onward. <laughs> <laughs> Manto Minute RDA kit by Rinko. Not it's bad. a kit. It's not a stack or, oh, it's just a kit with an RDA on it. Single 18650 battery, guys. Max output wattage is 80 watts. Yeah, I've, I've, again, I've had that. Um, I've, I've got the RDA up here. It's not bad at all. It's, it's, not, it's, not the, it's, it's, it's nothing overly special, but I've, I've got the RDA up here somewhere. What are the other colours like? It, uh, yeah. it, sure. it, it came out sort of the same mm. time as it did with the um because they're really light they're like sort of made out like a carbon it came out the same time as i've got it here the uh oh, what's it called i've got it here somewhere are we going to watch one of aiden's reviews now Va- vape storm <laughs> the, the vape storm that, that sort of style Ooh. 
I think right. it's really bad from grey hairs that they don't tell you what colour looks like what. I, 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 I have a green one. How would you know? Yeah. I'll, say, I'll say what, uh, again, Devil Vapor, there's the next one up with the jewel. Devil Vapor used that as his all day banger all the time. Yeah, and they, they've just brought out some more uh, Manto mods, haven't they? The Max in there, but their idea yeah. kits they come with the, 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 yeah, the Metis as well. Yeah. That's, that's a good deal, that, because the light is anything. Yeah. Mm. Nice one, Holly. <laughs> Ooh. Anglo Audi by Helvip. Now, the thing is with the Manto and the Anglo, they're both on sale in quite a lot of places. Um, I don't think you can find it any cheaper than eight quid, but there is quite a few places. If you've got something against Grey Ears, there's other places that have got it for about nine quid. It's 24 mil. Oh, optional 28 mil ring, which I didn't know until now. Uh, Should we look at the deck? It's it's the nice. one. See which Cl one? Clamp style. The Alton one, full screen, please. The what, what, what? Can we see the Alton one, full screen? <laughs> You're going to wind her up, bro. You're going to wind her up. <laughs> no, no, no. That one. That one. Yeah, yeah, that one. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I think we should get it for Christmas, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get oh. killed for that. As long as you can put like a camera in the box so when she opens it, we can see her reaction. Yeah. <laughs> I knew, oh. the, I told somebody, I can't remember who, I'm sorry. Oh, no, in fact, I've just realised, I, I can't see it because you lot are in my way. I've got four faces, including mine, staring at me. But the Watto 4 Profile RDTA is down for 24 quid, which is damn cheap. I actually ordered someone one of these the other day from an wholesaler and after postage it actually cost me 30 quid so for this to be 24 quid are you going to pay a 350 postage so you're going to get that pretty darn cheap and it's, a, it. it's a really good idta actually and it and it also works it works really well in coil mode single or dual coil and do the mesh and with the rdta with the vods works well it really well in either way um it's quite <coughs> yeah any i don't know if you I've, i think you missed it might, might be me that missed it it does do rda as well yeah. Um, there, there is I'll tell you another, two another great deal there for people who want a building kit. That building kit is absolutely brilliant, and that's a corking price eighteen ninety nine. Yeah. Well, that's actually gone down, I think, because I were going to show it over a week and looked at it and thought, yeah, no, and I didn't realise it had gone down again. It's either that or I misread it first. If people time. Are wanting a build kit, that they are, it's the same build kit I've got. Yeah, I have that one too. Interestingly, if any of you have watched my rebuild videos, you'll realise my uh, three mil jigs actually bent, like proper bent. Well, I'm, I'm glad like, you've let us know that. Ninety degree <laughs> bend. I used it to fix my lawnmower. <laughs> 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 I didn't have any uh, proper size spanners around, so there was something else as well, but it's gone. Can't find it. Yeah, but you got the Hellvip Dead Rabbit V2 RDA knocking out seventeen up quid. No, up. That is up. I mean down, so we can see it, sorry. <laughs> there you go. Dead Rabbit V2 RDA. There's a lot of things knocking about. Like You've also got the August GT 160, 40 quid instead of 60 quid. They, they have actually knocked out. Last time I checked on new vaping for last week's show, there weren't that much that had changed. This week, there's a lot that's changed. And they have also got pretty much the entire Vecini range on offer as well. So you've got the Vecini 40 watt, down from 38 quid to 26. Uh, the Air from 26 to 16. The Vecini X from 35 to 28. And the Vecini R for 30 down to 25. So if you're into a bit of Vupu Vecini, then some cracking deals there. Right then. What about the Vinci's? Oh, you, you know. <laughs> you're all right, dude. Keep going. <laughs> So I'm only being like that because I've got abuse of my pods. No, no, it's okay. I forgive you. <laughs> There's always next week. <laughs> <laughs> Mark RPM 160. Now, see, I've just lost all my salesman Mojo. tactics. Deep breath, here we go. Smock RPM 160 pod mod kit, 44 quid down to 26 quid. Wismec R40, which to be fair, when I reviewed it, I weren't that keen on. 
But if it's your kind of thing, it's on 41 quid down to 26 quid. Geek Vape, when Axe gone for that cap, how do you pronounce that? Whiz um, Meg. What? Whiz Meg. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Geek Vape, when Axe. When Axe. No, sounds Stylus. Good. Sounds good. Uh, down from 20 quid to 11 quid. And then for a Z liquid, we've got Bad Drip, zero milligram, 50 milligram short at 50 milligram. Review oh, coming shit. up for that as well. I've got uh, bu- I've got Bunny's liquid this week. The all three of Bunny's liquids in two of yours this week. <laughs> that's for thirteen quid down to seven quid. That's for the all of that flavor range, not for every bad drip flavor, but for every one of that flavor range. And that's me done. Thank God for that. And where where, where, can, where can they get that from? Uh, they can get that from Ventnil.co.uk. Which that- uh, after the show at nine o'clock in about three minutes time, you can also. Uh, go on to vapemail.co.uk and use free men 25 for your 25% discount up till midnight. If you're watching this on playback, you ain't got all, but I will try and sort you out some up for next week. That's you, free you, men 25. Well, you're going to put that into chat, aren't you? Yeah. You're gonna put and the flag cap just has as well. Oh, you, there we go. That is absolutely fantastic. Fantastico. <clears throat> hey, lads, we did really well there. That's just like not like us. We've got a little bit of time here, haven't we? No, <laughs> right. <laughs> you did really well there, bro. You did really well. I'm trying to find chat. Okay, people, we're going to do your giveaway for the Rochford project. We're going to be using Full Moon. Please make sure you go over to Full Moon and um, subscribe to him, especially if you're into your mixing and you like the beginner sort of mixing. Um, we have got the two flavors, and then the actual what you need to put in there is Full Moon. I need to make sure that I've keyword and I've already put that in there and I should have done it before that. There we go. Keeps trying to tell me it's full moon, we can't do that. <laughs> <clears throat> Again, if if you are if you do I'm put in for this and you do get sort of like put into it, then I'm I'm very, very sorry you can tell us if you want it. Or if you don't want it, we're nicking that from a Thursday. So please get over to Full Moon on his YouTube channel and go and give him a little cheeky sub. And all you people as well on who's doing the catch up, make sure you go over there and uh, give him a, a cheeky little sub. It's been really nice to have you on, buddy. I appreciate it very much. Well, it's nice. That, the thing is, we got talking. We've been on about getting you on the show, but we started getting talking after you'd won the Rochford Project stuff. And I said, you fancy coming on the show. Um, Gaz has been talking about you all the time, haven't you, buddy? Yeah, well, I I think I just kind of caught on Facebook. You put one of your videos up. I, I didn't know, and it wasn't until I put two and two together. I was like, oh, <laughs> it's it's full moon. So yeah, yeah. it's it cool. Yeah, no, it's been absolutely fantastic. I like this way we get, especially cross intercontinental. Did I get that right? <laughs> yeah, perfect. We'll film the ending of the show and bang it on he's to gonna come back. He's Facebook. Gonna, he's, got, he's got to drop back in again. He's got to drop back in again. It normally drop back back in again. Like I say, it's already two minutes past nine. So what? It can't be two minutes past nine. Oh, it is. <clears throat> that fucking thing. The chat's still rolling on on mine. Yeah. yeah. What do we do? Do we just like hold on for two seconds? So yeah, we just come back, chat. we just come back. Oh, we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back. So, whoever is left, people, who's ever's left, I know we've lost quite a few. We are, we have, ain't got a clue why there's something happening. I'm going to take everybody, we're back, we're back. So, who is ever still in here? Yes, 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 we're back. So, I'm taking all the names that have come up in here. Why that's doing that, I have not no idea. Copy. Thanks for hanging around, Pete. Thanks so much for the people who have hung around. I am putting everybody in who did do it. There we go. We're going to put the winner on it. I'm so sorry about that, people. I ain't got a clue. There's something obviously wrong with with Facebook. Facebook on YouTube. Um, <laughs> right, we want the giveaway wheel. So who's going to win? As you can see, we'll press it. All your names are in there. Let's press it. And the winner is Robert Jack. Well done, sir. Well done, sir. Well done, brother. There we go. Robert I don't Jack. know if, if Robert Jack is still in um, in actual chat because we have lost quite a few people. Well, that's... I think he's in. I've just I've just tagged him. 
in the chat. There we go, Robert Jack, you have won. Please get in touch with me at Little Bro Vapes. Uh, there we go, I'll put it in here, Little. Oh, I like the fireworks, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It'd be nice if it, the stream just carried on working, it'd be great, wouldn't it? I ain't got a clue. Get in touch with there, brother, and then we'll tell you what you need to do. Uh, congratulations. Right, well, it's coming that, that part of the hour. Make sure you go over to Benny Vapes and, and go and check him out. Um, we will go to Full Moon first. Say your goodbyes, brother. I want to say bye to everybody in chat. I want to say thank you guys so much for having me on. It means the world to me. Um, I can't thank you enough. So, yeah. Y'all be safe and have a good night. We're still at 100 viewers. I don't know where they came from. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, Flat Cap. Um, yeah, well, first of all, thank you, everyone, for joining us in chat. Well done to the winners this evening. Please head over to the Facebook group and go on there. We're starting to do some things on there, and I had to do some stupid video, and I felt awkward and embarrassed. But it was good fun anyway. Uh, thanks, Chris, so much for coming on. Really appreciate it. Not just coming on the show, but you you are kind of a part of the community, and being in America and being supportive of us in the UK, it, it means a lot to us. We greatly appreciate it. So thanks so much to you, and good luck with the channel. And everyone go over there and subscribe to the lovely man. He's a great bloke. There's some really good stuff, especially with the grids. Aiden, Harley, love you two loads. Thanks so much. We'll see you next week. Over to the wonderful Harley. Full Moon, thank you very kindly. It has been a pleasure talking to you. And a nice insight in regards to measuring uh, concentrates as well. Chat, you have been delightful. Thank you for bearing with uh, Flat Caps Pods and my shambles of a deals. Uh, everyone that's watching on replay, don't forget to drop a message down below. If you've got anything to add to the show, uh, I'll, tr I'll try and... Uh, read it out as well as but like I said I don't want to read too many out uh, it, is, it has been wonderful and thank you everyone that stuck around through that last minute of trouble here it's just such a shame it didn't hang out for another minute you are all lovely and we love you all oh free men and free men 25 free men 25 is now live on vitmo.co.uk so go and Get check it out there, people I know what it is What YouTube don't want us to give away watch your projects that's what it is yeah, they want to keep it all for themselves. <laughs> <laughs> Big love to all the people in chat. Thank you so much for following us and supporting us each week in and out. I so love you all. Thank you so much to all the spanners for looking after us. Big love to Full Moon for coming on. Chris, you're an absolute star. Please get over to his YouTube channel, even if you're watching on the replay. And talking about you sexy mofos on the replay, leave us a comment down there that you've been watching. Big love to you all. We're going to be back next week. Same bat time, same bat channel. 8pm. Don't miss Three Men and a Vape Show. Big love to you all. Good night. Go over to Benny Vapes and tell him that Fireman Sam's a lover. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>